Hey, this is Jim at VideoDies.com. Thanks for joining us for Video Dies Live. Today, we are going to be talking about JVC professional PTZ cameras and connected cams. I am not going to do all the talking, though. We are joined by an expert from JVC, Edgar Shane. Hey, Edgar, how are you? Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Absolutely. Why don't you take a moment and introduce yourself to our audience? Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Edgar Shane, and I am General Manager of Engineering Department and GVC Professional. I participate in all trade shows and all product introductions, and also work with the, our factory in Japan on all products uh, design and development. So feel free to send us any questions. We can pretty much answer all questions about all GVC products. I, I really appreciate that. And that's one of the things that I really think we're going to go back to quite a bit during today's show is videoguys.com is your resource for these cameras. We also have a nationwide network of JVC dealers that can help you with every step of the process in planning and installing all of the connected cams. But JVC is also a great resource themselves. And Edgar and your team are always available to work with customers looking to get the right installations in house of worship, sports production, school, government, you name it. Uh, there are obviously different challenges, and some of those we'll talk to along the way and show you how these JVC camera family can really fit into the mix. Edgar, before we talk specifically about the PTZ cameras, I think it's important to point out just how many cameras JVC has available and kind of the heritage of where this camera family comes from. Absolutely. Thank you, Jim. Uh, we've been manufacturing cameras for so many years, and today we offer pretty much a, a lineup of professional video cameras, camcorders, PTZ cameras for any application and any budget, which starts from anywhere from under $2,000 and going all the way over 20 for professional grade 2 inch cameras, which are popular in schools and college sports. And all these products are available from Broadfield, of course. Yes, absolutely. And all of these cameras, uh, they a lot of them fit into that connected cam family. The connected cam is really the perfect way of taking the PTZ camera operation and these handheld cameras and getting them all to work very well in your environment all over IP production. Connected Cam Series, uh, we introduced this concept, I should say, uh, several years ago for our broadcast customers, and now it expanded uh, for all our products. And the idea of Connected Cam is that you don't need to have any additional extra boxes on location. Any camera can immediately send video over the internet to directly to TriCaster, Vimix, or any other server or decoder. And you can also control all cameras remotely. So it's all designed for remote production with minimum equipment on location, just the camera, in fact. That's what Connected Cam is. Absolutely, and there's a lot of technology here that we're gonna to talk to along the way including the remote production or Remy, as you see here, and the technology that leads to that in both NDI production environments and SRT production. And that's really what JVC is doing very well, is taking all of that different technology and incorporating it across the entire PTZ camera lineup. So, Edgar, why don't you introduce us to the PTZ cameras? New uh, range of PTZ cameras is comprised of uh, three base models, KYPZ 200, 400, and 510. Each model is available in black and white. That's what our customers always ask for. And also some models can be purchased without NDI license, which reduces the price. So in total, these are seven SKUs, uh, like I said, black and white, and with NDI and without NDI. Cameras support 4K, 60P, some models 30P others, and KYP. PZ200 GUI uh, supports 1080-60p only. Okay, perfect. And they, again, have a whole host of technology integrated into them. That's right. In terms of uh, connectivity, it's not just NDI. Our cameras have integrated SRT encoders, RTMP stream output, and all these uh, protocols actually can be generated and streamed simultaneously. So you can simultaneously provide NDI checks for local uh, TriCaster and use SRT to send live stream to remote location and stream simultaneously to Facebook Live or YouTube all at the same time. Absolutely. I know in our production studio itself, 
we use the NDI technology into our TriCaster system. Uh, when we did some of our other shows, we've also used the SRT technology, integrated into the EpiPen Pro systems. So really having the mix of technology allows you to really find the right tool for the right job. Uh, very different technology for different applications, right? Right. And in, in case of these models, you don't really need to worry about what you may need tomorrow for your next production because NDI, SRT, and RTMP, RTMPS are all available in the same camera along with HDMI and SDI. So it's really very flexible equipment. One camera can be used for local and remote production and even simultaneously. Absolutely. It really lets you choose that right camera for the right job. And of course, the other part of that selection is going to be the lens itself, right? Yeah, that's right. Depending on what you're looking for, how much coverage you need, you can see that GY, uh, KYPZ200 uh, has 61 degree viewing angle, and then KYPZ400 goes wider, and KYPZ510 features super wide lens, which covers actually 35% more than KYPZ200. Uh, it really depends on your coverage, what you need to achieve in your uh, shot, but most people like wide angle and uh, ultra wide angle, which gives you a tremendous field of view, not only in the small studio, but only also in the large audiences, it will give you pretty spectacular view like this example of this house of worship. Absolutely, and I think when you combine that wide field of view with the PTZ operation of the camera, you really get the best of both worlds. When you're Absolutely, able to yes. zoom in closer on the subject, when you're able to use the robotic movements to add some interest to the production itself, uh, it really plays in very well with not just a staged production, but like a house of worship, like you see here, uh, academic installations. Uh, all of these can really play in well for that PTZ camera family. Yeah, and we're talking about the difference in models again here. Yes. And depending on the model, there are different sensors. There is, like I said, HD only for KYPZ200 and okay. KYPZ400 adds a 4K sensor with a 4K up to 30p. And finally, KYPZ510 features full 60 frames per second 4K resolution. Uh, that's the difference in these models. Absolutely. And I know we're going to talk a lot about the different models. Uh, we're going to focus a lot on that PZ510 today, too, because I'm seeing a lot more people ask for that 4K production capability now, because not only are you getting that wide field of view in the camera, you're getting the 4K resolution, but you're really future proofing the installation to make sure that you're getting the best camera available right now for all of your installation needs. And here we have a nice comparison chart that shows you what features these cameras share and where some of those differences lie as well. Yeah, you can see uh, MSRP prices and you can see the sensor size and also zoom ratio 20 times and 12 times. All cameras besides of optical zoom also feature uh, digital extension up to 16 times, different coverage like already explained. Uh, all cameras have 3G SDI and HDMI output. They support NDI, SRT, RTMP, RTMPS. You can also switch codec from H.264 to HEVC to be more efficient, to save bandwidth. So there are many other things, but pretty much you can select the camera, whatever your production needs are. It, absolutely, and that's great. And then tucked away in the corner of the slide there, we're showing the LP100 controller, which is JVC's PTZ controller that's compatible across the entire product line, obviously. Yes. And it, again, we talked about the different output capability. You see all those different technological uh, outputs or spigots coming out of that network connection. But you do have your SDI and HDMI connections here as well. That's right. And also a network connection, which also accepts power over Ethernet. And if you use a PoE cable, it's really only one cable you need to supply yep. camera the power and also stream out uh, NDI, SRT, RTMPS, and also control the camera over the same connection as well. Absolutely. And then the other part that we didn't talk about yet is that UVC webcam output over USB, making it this a real easy installation into like a web conferencing and stuff, right? It's quite interesting application. That's why camera turns into your webcam with a simple connection to your computer, except now it's PTZ webcam. You can control angle of view, direction, you can point camera to the speaker or maybe to the product you're talking about. It gives you very simple but very efficient way to do presentations using Teams, Zoom, or Skype. It, absolutely, it's the easiest way. And actually, I just joined Telestream on the Wirecast show. 
talking about some of the USB capabilities and how you can take a simple upgrade, like using a USB webcam and upgrade to a PTZ camera going into that same USB port. Know that it's going to be plug and play into Zoom, but you've just tripled your production quality that you have available to you by having one of these cameras there doing that job. And then, of course, we have the PTZ, PTZ control over IP. This starts playing back into that remote production story now as well. Uh, that's right. And again, with our cameras, what is unique that you can control cameras uh, via different means and you can control cameras directly using NDI right from your TriCaster or Vmix. You don't need to do any settings. NDI control is automatic. But you can also control cameras using Visco over IP using uh, third party controllers or some other uh, perhaps exotic control surfaces. And there is also GVC Web API protocol, which you can control cameras using our RMLP1. 100 or directly from web browser. And again, these controls are all available at the same time. You don't need to switch anything in the camera, which means that you can have local camera controlled by, let's say, our controller RMLP100, and you can have remote TriCaster where you can control the same camera using uh, NDI or Visco over IP over the internet control. Absolutely. And that gets especially useful in some of the larger installations where that production may change from one show to the next. We might go from having the camera controlled right in studio here to having my remote team in Texas coming in and being able to control the camera to do a separate show or some kind of sales training that they're working on. And that can all be done with that LP100 controller, which I do have up on the table here in front of me. It is a very streamlined controller for what this thing is really capable of doing. I mean, it really is not a big footprint at all. Tell us a little bit more about the LP100. Well, again, this is a unique device because it's optimized for, like I said, both local and control over the internet. Not only you can control local cameras, but you can also control cameras remotely over the internet and each camera, and it can actually memorize up to 99 cameras with 99 presets per camera. But what is interesting that each camera, you can, you can actually memorize separate IP address, separate port number, which means that truly you can have one controller controlling three cameras locally and 10 cameras remotely remotely from LA, New York, Miami, over the internet. And the reason you would use controller is that it gives you some additional controls uh, versus TriCaster or VMIX, because of course cameras can be controlled by TriCaster Direct, but controller gives you access to also exposure, iris gain, shutter, white balance, and some other settings which are uh, you know necessary for production. It, absolutely, it really is a complete control into the all of the JVC camera settings uh, right there at the palm of your hands in that LP100 controller. Uh, now I want to talk about some of the different applications and we're actually going to get into some workflow diagrams and some of the ways that this JVC connected cam can use. And first here, I think we're looking at an SDI install, right? Yeah, this is just generic application. These cameras are connected via SDI to your favorite switcher. And cameras be controlled uh, using RMLP100 or third-party controller over Visco over IP. And RMLP100 is also capable of converting uh, close contact tally, which is available from uh, standards not over IP switchers, to over IP command to activate tally on those cameras as well. And, and that's great. And this is definitely something important to point out. You know, I know there's a lot of people talking about IP production. There's a lot of people talking about NDI and SRT. Uh, but S SDI is installed in a lot of locations already. Uh, when the cabling is there and it's available and it's a long run install, uh, you can hook up these JVC cameras and upgrade the cameras that are already installed in a house of worship or school campus very easily and get all of that additional control right there. Uh, but now, of course, the NDIHS installation, where now we're connecting everything into a local area network. Yeah, you can't overestimate the significance of NDI these days. It's a tremendous right. uh, invention. And uh, like you see in this diagram, it's, it's a single cable. It's a single LAN cable to each camera, which carries video, audio, PTZ control, tally, uh, power, everything. It's super simple installation. And what is important, you don't need to have anything extra for that. You can connect cameras right to your existing facility network and be able to send video and control cameras remotely. Absolutely. And what I love about your diagram here, too, is you're showing it into a Netgear switch, 
which is available here at VideoDice.com. Uh, it is definitely one of the best switches I've used for an NDI installation. Yes, I'm a favorite switch. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, it's funny. When, Net, when Netgear introduced that switch, we said this is the biggest thing to happen to our tech support team since NDI was introduced. Uh, those switches are just easy to set up and easy to use. And here we're talking about a lot of the different applications, again, that the NDI technology gives you. Uh, yeah, you know, Jim, NDI is actually is very easy by itself. You just connect cameras to your existing network and they self-introduce themselves. And now when you go and extra, uh, add extra input on your TriCaster or Vimix, you just go and you see drop-down menu and you see all connected available cameras, uh, which you can add as an input immediately. It's pretty simple and very efficient way to run your production. Absolutely. And now not only are you getting over that single PoE, um, over that single network cable, the NDI video and audio back to your uh, production system, but you're also supplying power from a PoE switch as well. So it really is one cable run that's giving you power, control capability, and audio video back and forth from the camera itself, which is really a great application. And it really lends itself to a lot of different installations, like a school campus, like we see here. You know, many of my slides come from our customers, and that's what they pointed to me. Because as long as you are on the same land, which is a good example of school campus or college campus, uh, cameras don't need to be in the same building. They can be in the sport arena, uh, some other facility, and, and your studio on the second floor of building B will be able to see all cameras and control them and receive video, audio, as long as cameras are on the same land using NDI. This is super simple and very cost efficient. And Eddie, I'm going to take this opportunity to pause for a small commercial announcement. On March 1st and March 2nd, we are going to be hosting EduStream TV. EduStream TV is an academic virtual event talking about case studies like this on how schools have been successful with JVC cameras. Edgar, I hope you're going to join us for EduStream TV as well. Uh, we Absolutely. will get you some more information <laughs> and get that on the calendar also. We'd love um, to. And now here, what we're doing is we're showing the difference now of growing beyond that local area network with NDI technology and now integrating SRT. And this is obviously my favorite topic because I've been involved <laughs> in video over the internet for more than 10 years. Uh, that's right. So we have NDI embedded in the camera. We can use NDI over local area network. It works great. Uh, if everything is discovered automatically. But what if you need to send video to outside from your local area network to another county, another state, another country over the internet? And that's where SRT comes very handy. SRT features uh, error correction and different tools to overcome typical things for internet, which is data loss, congestion, jitter. These uh, phenomena would be you know, deadly for other protocols, but SRT is designed to be able to deliver video without any glitches, absolutely fine, over congested uh, internet and low performance networks, I should say. Yeah, absolutely. It's really been one of the greatest things to happen uh, to remote production. And that's really what we're talking about here is how NDI in the local network and SRT over that remote production, over that internet connection, how they can really be used together to develop that workflow and kind of what the difference is and the, the, the right applications for each are. And I must, I'm, I'm being asked this question all the time. It's a very popular question. And the first thing everybody asks, uh, which, which image quality is better? Is it NDI or is it SRT? And I'd like to say first that image quality is not related to protocol. These are protocols. Image quality is determined by your codec and your bitrate. And this camera supports H.264 and HEVC. And if you set them to, let's say, 8 megabit HEVC or 12 megabit H.264, you will find indistinguishable from 3G SDI quality, regardless of what you use, NDI or SRT. Right. But the difference is application. And you see pictures of these two vehicles, the sports car and the SUV, and that's pretty much what describes the difference between these <laughs> protocols. And the is designed for super fast local area networks, and it's super fast with negligible latency, while SRT is designed to handle internet congestion, jitter, data loss. Uh, it comes with a certain latency, but again, it is capable of delivering high quality production quality, I should say, streams uh, from LA to New York over standard internet connection. Uh, another thing is that uh, both NDI and SRT are available simultaneously, so you can mix 
local and remote using the same camera anytime. Absolutely. And when we talk about the video quality, it's important to note that you're talking about the optical image quality that JVC brings to the table by being a camera company. You're talking about the compression technology that you talked about, whether it's H.264 or HEVC. You're talking about supporting all the different protocols and connectivity. You're really putting everything together in the complete package to give you a broadcast quality video signal. And that's where these cameras are become the investment in a live production and streaming environment. And that really is what justifies that. And here is just another way of looking at NDI versus SRT. This time we're comparing it now with the NDI bridge applications. Uh, that's right, because um, quite often uh, customers need to move video over the internet. They can use SRT or they can use NDI bridge. NDI bridge is a great uh, invention. Again, it works well. It's just uh, good to know that for NDI Bridge, you have to use computers on both sides, separate computers to convert from NDI to reliable UDP and then back to NDI. If you just have uh, remote cameras on location only, it may be quite some easier to use just SRT in the camera and connect cameras directly to the internet switch and send SRT right to your uh, TriCaster or VMIX video switcher. You can use both uh, technique, but if uh, for just simple cameras, uh, SRT may be uh, much easier because you don't have to use uh, additional equipment on location. Like I said, it's our concept of connected cam, minimum equipment on location and just cameras only perhaps. Yeah, no, absolutely. And the way we think of it is, remember, NDI Bridge was an upgrade to the NDI spec that kind of came out with NDI 5. All of these NDI studios existed in the world, and now the need to create that remote production really started to take hold. So now how do we bridge Studio A with Studio B? And that's where that all developed, and that's where it's going to continue to grow. SRT was developed and designed to be able to send a video from a remote location over the internet with that error correction capability uh, as that, that, that was the initial development of it. So yes, in some applications, it might be two different ways of scanning the same cat, but really at the same time, they were developed uh, for two different applications. And you, you, know, you can see the growth in this IP technology when we get there. Now, the great thing about these JVC cameras is that you have dual encoders giving you even more flexibility, not just picking what you're doing, but you can do two different things at the same time. Uh, that's right. And we actually have already found several applications in sports which take advantage of second encoder for some low uh, bitrate proxy streams. Uh, but both encoders can simultaneously generate NDI and SRT, RTMPS, which means you can, you're very flexible in using these cameras in pretty much any application. Absolutely. To use that second encoder for a real-time social media feed from any application, it just makes it so easy. We know that the, the Twitter world, YouTube Live, Facebook Live, it's more about how quickly you can get the information out to that world than even what the quality of that video is. By spitting that out in real time and still handling all of your production needs from the camera itself is really a great bit of doing more with less with the equipment and what you are talking about. And AJ here, we're talking about that hybrid workflow again comparing that Remy world. And this is actually another example from one of our customers. They wanted to be able to control cameras locally because they told us that somebody local has more sense of what's going on at the venue. So they're using cameras and they're using NDI multi-viewer to preview cameras and our uh, controller to control cameras locally. And then at the same time, simultaneously, each camera sends isolated stream to remote studio, to their TriCaster, and that's where the actual show is produced. And why you can do it? Because cameras can do simultaneous NDI for local preview, and SRT for remote production. Plus, of course, you can also have 3G SDI or HDMI output, depending on your needs as well. Andrew, I think I've got you figured out. I know exactly what's happening. At the beginning of the show, we talked about how you and your team are available to work with customers on kind of finding the right solution to their workflows. You're sitting here designing these little diagrams for them. And then at some point you're like, hey, that would be a great slide to share on the next show. 
that's exactly what's happening, right? <laughs> that's right, absolutely, absolutely. And, 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 and here we're talking about a remote production. This one actually looks like it took you a little bit of work. Now we're setting up different locations from LA, Chicago, and DC. And be, believe me or not, this again, we have customers who do this every day because think about this workflow. You can have cameras, like I said, connected cam. You need camera only. You don't need any separate boxes. You can have camera connected all the time at the city hall, uh, college uh, auditorium or anywhere or, or government facility. And these cameras can supply high quality 1080-60p or 4K up to 60p stream to the outside studio, regardless of location, because they use SRT or with internet, and you can also go back and control those cameras remotely. This allows you to produce high quality video of any event at any time. And this is also, there's no subscription fees for that. This is, you can pretty much do 4K 60p 24 seven for the cost of a standard internet connection. And I'm glad you pointed out that pointed that out too, because really what we're talking about is the hardware and the capability built into the hardware with the JVC, PTZ, and connected camera family. So all of this is being done with the cameras themselves. We're not talking about software subscriptions. We're not talking about a, a JVC cloud that is putting this all together. Uh, this technology is there within those cameras, giving you that remote production uh, pretty much anywhere over the internet. It's all in the camera. So it's yep. it's literally camera and single LAN cable connected to the internet, a switch on location. And now you can get 1080, 60p, 4K, 30p, 4K, 60p streams from any location. And obviously uh, any application uh, would benefit from this. Sports, government, houses of worship, education, of course, uh, and anything else. You can get live high quality streams anytime from anywhere. Yeah, absolutely. And the great thing about it, too, is once again, we have a nationwide network of JVC installers that are available. So if you are looking to set up a small remote production studio in Washington State that has to talk back to a production center in Miami, we can match you with the right installers in both areas to help get you set up and running between the support of our dealers uh, our own expertise and knowledge and having these cameras available here and the availability of JVC, Edgar and his team, we can help you get up and running very quickly and very easily. Now, it's funny, we're talking about all this remote production, all that capability. Now, we're talking about the other end of the spectrum, and that's what you and I alluded to earlier. And it's just, how do you upgrade your video conferencing? Uh, that's right, because we have different type of customers. Some of them want something super simple. And what can be easier than just plugging direct a USB cable from the camera to a computer? And like I said before, camera becomes your webcam, except you have now presets. You can control camera with a remote control, which yep. is included actually IR remote control. And if this was KYPZ510, which we will be talking in a moment, it can even track you when you walk around the room all with a direct USB connection to your favorite application, which is Teams, Skype, Zoom, or any video switcher of your choice. Absolutely, and that's one of my really, that, that's one of my favorite features on the 510 is the auto tracking capability. Before we get that there though, why don't you introduce the camera itself to us and tell us a little bit more about the 510, which is the, the latest and greatest from JVC. Yeah, this is the latest introduction, KYPZ510. Uh, we have super wide, this is truly super wide 81 degree coverage lens uh, with a 4K 60p image processing. And this camera, and when I say 4K 60p, I mean it's HDMI output 4K 60p, it's uh, NTI 4K 60p, and it's SRT 4K 60p, which means you can do local over IP, you can do cable connection to your favorite video switcher with HDMI, or SRT to remote location, all 4K 60p. And this camera also is is a member of connected cam, which means it does also uh, SRT, RTMP, RTMP, SRTSP, and all other streaming protocols. And we just had this camera certified for NDI HX3 uh, one week ago, so which is again uh, a good deal. And, and, and that's great. And not only are we talking about having all this different technology supported on the camera, but the latest and greatest versions of that technology. NDIHX3 
is really exciting because it's starting to bring that latency of NDIHX much closer to like a full bandwidth NDI, giving you even more production capabilities by implementing these cameras in a lot of different applications. And here, what we're looking again is at that wide field of view. Yeah, like I said, not only small studios, but also large venues uh, would benefit from super wide angle. It produces quite spectacular shots uh, everywhere. A absolutely. And then when you combine that with, that with the robotic capability of the camera itself, it really lets you set it up for the perfect shot. Uh, but it also plays in nicely in lecture environments with the software feature we talked about just a moment ago, and that's the new auto tracking capability built into the 510. It's a very interesting feature. Camera can actually recognize human beings in the field of view. And if you have multiple, you can actually select uh, with the remote control to choose which person to follow. And when you accept, uh, you push enter and you select specific person, camera will follow that person uh, pretty much 360, 340 degrees, I should say, around the room, and okay. it will actually zoom in and out as that person goes farther away or comes closer to the camera to maintain very specific shot. And you will have output from SDI, HDMI, SRT, NDI, or USB connected to your uh, Skype or your Teams, which means this function is independent of how your video is delivered. So you can use this in any application with any running mode of the camera. Excellent. Now, is there software that's required for that auto tracking capability? It's all integrated in the camera, but you just enable this feature and that's it. You don't need to have anything external. That, that's phenomenal. That's really great. And again, that camera fits into that JVC connected cam family, uh, which brings us to the logo parade that we see up on the screen. Guys, do me a favor. Let's pull this slide up full screen. Uh, Edge, you want to highlight some of the different companies here that this all plays well in? Yeah, we, we understand that PTZ cameras are typically part of larger installations where you use other equipment. That's why we take integration and especially tests for compatibility with our partners and with third parties very serious. And when, I sh when you see here, New Tech TriCaster, OBS, Wirecast, Epiphone Video, Vmix, VTech, High Vision. We tested with all these products, with all these brands, and that is very important. And obviously, there's also other accessories like outdoor enclosures sure. by DotWorks and Extreme Enclosures. We tested with all these companies to make sure the camera is compatible, it works well, and also these companies are aware of our products. When you're purchasing something from somebody else and you mention GVC camera, they know which software or which hardware is compatible. What I like about the logo parade and when you see all of these different companies that you've tested and that you work with is it really is a great story for an upgrade installation as well. If I'm upgrading some of my equipment, maybe I don't have the budget to, to change out every camera in the workflow. Maybe I need to integrate in an older production system. The JVC cameras will fit in well in that environment because of how agnostic they are to everything that's available. But then it'll also give me that future upgrade path as I start changing out other pieces of the puzzle, allowing me to kind of spread out that budget over time. And, and again, the JVC cameras are perfect for remote production over the internet. Edgar, I, if we ha haven't hammered this point home, I don't know what else we could say about it. Uh, the remote uh, production is definitely a great <laughs> thing now. We just remind again everybody that yeah. there are three base models available in different colors, available with or without NDI license, depending what you're looking for, and that KYPZ510 supports also 4K60P and object tracking as well. A absolutely. And again, it's the right camera for the right job. You can work with our, me and my team, you can work with our network of dealers, and we can help get you set up. But not only that, JVC is available to help answer any questions. And maybe even we could get Edgar to draw up a little diagram for your next workflow installation. And then we'll use it on a future show. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I enjoy talking to all our customers. And we have actually a special email, PTZ support at us.jvccanwood.com. And I also take uh, messages from customers when we explain that we can uh, support cameras for remote production for local. We stand behind our words and we can help you. So let us know if there's any questions or anything else. Uh, we will help you with the JVC cameras integration in your workflow.
Absolutely. And I want to mention also that JVC does have an excellent warranty available on their cameras. They have an excellent nationwide network of certified installers. We call them JVC idealers. Uh, they're happy to work with you and talk about your next project, your next installation. You can give us a call right here at videoguys.com, 800-323-2325. We can help answer any questions and make sure we get you connected to the right person that's going to help you set up a successful multi-camera, remote camera, connected cam, PTZ camera solution for all of your needs. Edgar, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And if you have any questions, give us a call, 800-323-2325, and tune in and register, edgestreamtv.com. March 1st and 2nd, we will talk, be talking about specific workflows for the academic world. Case studies, sports production, PTZ cameras, production technologies, lecture capture, you name it, we'll cover it on that show. So register at edgestreamtv.com and tune in every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Gary will be back on the show next week. Thanks for joining us today. Edgar, thank you again. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.